I don't think this is fair. Like, I, I understand this is your house, Ms. Lee, but I don't think this is fair. I know, it's not really all his fault. Can we just, can we stay here? Can we just, y'all can stay, but he can't stay. Why not? Well, we're, we're I, I don't understand. Like, this is my, like, we a family. Like, I understand, okay. like, this is your house, but, like, I'm not leaving my family. So, what you expect me to do? I don't know what you gonna do, but <laughs> you just can't stay here. She, her and the kids can stay as long as they like. But Sean is a part of the family, so he gotta, so he gotta, he gotta stay at a hotel? Like, what? I, if you're trying to follow him, I suppose so. No, I don't think that's, Are that's, you recording this? Don't record this. No, man, because that's bogus. That's bogus. Like, I ain't even finna in This is your house. I, I want to get loud. I ain't about to do that. But they just, I literally can't stay here. Like, I have nowhere to go. We all got evicted. Like, I know you're trying to say I'm the man. And I was supposed to take responsibility. But life happens. Like, I don't understand why I can't stay here, Ms. Lee. Stop. 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 I don't understand why I can't stay here. Well, we, maybe just for like a week, just a week, maybe, and then. I mean, she just said y'all can stay as long as y'all need to, but I gotta, but I gotta. That's leave. what I'm trying to ask her if you can stay for a week, just at least a week, so, so you don't have to be out on the street by yourself. So you gonna stay here, even though I can't stay here? That's what I'm asking you. You still need to stay here, and knowing I can't stay here. Where, where else is we gonna go? That don't. That's not the point, though. Like we supposed to be together on this. You finna let me sleep outside on the car. I didn't say you can sleep, but I'm trying to get you to be able to stay here. You don't. You don't want to stay here or not? I don't want to be somewhere where I'm not welcome. She just said I can't stay here. You know she might change her mind. So I can't. I can't stay here. Just for a week. Come on. I can't stay here, Miss Lee. I, I. I. I don't think that's a good idea. Why? What? Why? why Y'all made no effort, or you didn't get a job, or. Something so that y'all well, you know school food. just started and I had to get groceries and then my partner was due and then I had to pay the insurance so we just it just it just fell behind a lot of things just fell behind we just it's just not even probably even gonna be that long I think a, a month actually for us for all of us just a month it's we'll, we'll stay you just said a week yeah a just a week ago. but now it's, you need to change it to a month i'm only changing it to a month because it's the end of this month and it's gonna take at least about two weeks for me to find a place man i'm not gonna argue i'm not gonna argue about staying here I'm you know i love it. you but it is it, it's just sometimes it, people don't put effort or something to do better. We, put, we did. We did what we had to do. Like we, we just put this is like the money the, the little money we do have left, we have to put all our stuff in storage. Like this is all we brought over here. Like like I don't understand why I gotta sleep outside why they can sleep in here comfortably. Like I, it's already bad out here. Like people out here killing people, fine. robbing people and I gotta sleep outside. That's crazy to me, bro. Like, Nobody said you had to sleep outside. Where else I'm gonna go? Where else I'm gonna go? Nobody said you had to Where else I'm gonna go, Sierra? We're trying we try to figure this go? out. We're trying to figure this out. I understand we're trying to figure it out, but I don't understand why Ms. Lee not letting me stay here. Like, I'm not, what is your reasoning for I really can't stay, but everybody else can stay? What you think I'm gonna do? Well, maybe get a job and, and start. <laughs> Getting money saved so that y'all can get Okay, but I have to have somewhere to sleep so I can go to a job. Like, I don't even have nowhere to sleep because you're not letting me stay here. I'm confused why I can't stay here. You're going to... So, it's, it's not going to be well, what, what, I think what do you... Uh, I mean, is it, what's, what's the I'm, deep down issue? Is it like just because it's Sean or... Yeah, what what is the issue? Please let us know. Well, this is not the first time things has been out of... Secret, stop, stop. I I'm just saying. It's the audacity for me. Like, you, an entitled broke husband. You have, like, you shamefully went to your mother in law's place to stay, to uh, tell her you want to stay with your family. And she's telling you, you can stay, your family can stay. Like, you should even be grateful. Like somebody that's like she could even accept your her daughter and also the kids. You go find your way or even beg. But you're like, why? I want to know why. Well, 
Hey beautiful people, how y'all doing today? My name is Maria Davis and I'm back again with another interesting video. Just watch, actually it's very lengthy but I had to cut it short but the video keep going on and on how they were like, why, why can't I stay? Why can't I stay? Why can't I stay? But then, I have few stitches to share with you or people heard their opinion about this particular topic. I also want to know your opinion about this in the comment section. Do you think that it was wrong for the mother-in-law not to allow all of them to stay together or do you think his mother-in-law is at fault or maybe it's the husband that is at fault let me know your thoughts in the comment section and i'll talk about my own opinion at the end of all the stitches i don't think this is fair like i understand this is your house miss lee but i don't think this is fair i have so much to say about this video i have so much to say about this video okay let's discuss so if you haven't seen the whole video i would say go back and watch it Basically, this couple have been evicted with their kids. They've gone to the wife's mother's house, so the mother-in-law's house, and they've asked to stay. It sounds like they've really put it on the mother-in-law who didn't know that they were coming. Um, and the mother-in-law is like, okay, cool. Like, my daughter and the kids can stay, but to the son-in-law, she's like, you can't stay. And he's arguing with her in her house, in her house. He's arguing with her about the decision she's made. There's so much wrong here. Firstly, it becomes very clear that the mother-in-law, it's all in what the mother-in-law is not saying. So she's saying you can't stay and they're like, why? And she's like, mm, you just can't stay. It is so clear that there has been so much that's gone on. She does not trust them to stay for the week, for the month. She does not trust it. I would love to know the background because this mother-in-law is fed up then the she makes comments about you know maybe if you went and got a job you know that would be helpful so you're you're telling me and it sounds like the wife has a job so you're telling me you are begging your mother-in-law to stay in your house but you with your joblessness have probably contributed to your eviction you can't stay in my house either. No, you have other things you need to do. You would, you need to go and get a job, sir. You need to go and get a job rather than you're standing here arguing with me. Go and get a job. I am also very upset that this conversation has happened in front of these two children. Like, I really wish that one of them would have sent the children to the room or sent the children elsewhere, occupy the children so they were not part of this conversation because... It must be so concerning to them that their parent that they they've firstly just been evicted. That's traumatic. And their their grandmother is telling their father that he can't stay with them. And the father is laying on the guilt trip so thick, so thick. And and just on that point, I feel like the the language he was using, the tactic, like the tactics of being like, okay, I'm gonna go, but you're hovering by the door, like, like you know the wife was clearly enabling him like oh no she's gonna she's gonna change her mind when it's very clear the mother-in-law was not changing her mind there, there feels like there's a lot going on there i mean it's only a, a, a short clip but i'd be interested to know what the dynamics of their their relationship or their marriage is what a mess i'm with the mother-in-law i agree no bro you can't stay you need to go and get a job and support my fam my children better soz bro I don't think this is fair. Like, I, I understand this is your house, Ms. Lee, but I don't think this is fair. I know, it's not really all this fault. We just, can we stay here? Mommy, y'all can, we just y all can stay, but he can't stay. Why not? Well, we're, we're I, I don't understand. Like, this is my, like, we're a family. Like, I understand. Okay. Like, hey, so check this out. In this video, this grown man feels entitled to stay inside his mother in law's house. His mother-in-law is like, nah, uh, my daughter and the kids can stay here, but you can't. You know what I'm saying? This ain't the first time that this kind of stuff happened. Why you guys can't get a job, you know what I'm saying, and, and take care of yourself? She's like, you know, it's beyond me, but check it. You can't stay here. They can. And this man continues to argue with the mom, his mother-in-law, uh, about why he can't stay there, making himself the victim, right? He's making himself the victim in this situation when he's the man supposed to be the provider and he's supposed to make it happen. So instead of, you know what I'm saying, being like, hey, okay, my kids, my wife, they're good. I'm going to go out there and figure it out. He sits there and argues back and forth with this woman about her house. This is that victim mindset that I talk about. You know what I'm saying? 
This right there, this man feels like he's entitled to stay there. And why is this happening to him? You know what I'm saying? Instead of instead of having the mindset to where, you know what? I'm going to go out and make it happen. I had a slip felt because I'm not saying people can't go on hard times. You know what I'm saying? I'm one or two decisions away myself from, happen, from coming up into a hard time. But one thing I do realize is that if I do come into a hard time, it's because I put myself there. And it's up to me to get myself out for me and my family's sake. So as long as my wife and kids are good, I'll go out sleep in my truck. You know what I'm saying? I'll find a way to make it happen the way we can get back on our feet and learn from my mistake the first time so it don't happen again. We got to stop with the victim mindset in all aspects of our lives. We got to stop trying to feel sorry for ourselves and stop thinking that people owe us something. You know what I'm saying? Because if we do, we're going to sound like this weak ass man here begging somebody to stay inside the house and not understanding why he's not allowed to stay there kick that victim mindset you know what i'm saying kick it and understand it's your responsibility for your life all right like i know you're trying to say i'm the man i was supposed to take responsibility but life happens like I so I gave you guys the abbreviated version of this video because he goes on for quite some time trying to browbeat this woman into letting him stay. And then he goes on to even get upset with the wife because she wants to stay there with the children. And he's basically like, you should take a stand with me. You and me together should take a stand against your mother and say that we want to all stay together as a family. Sir, that's not your house. You can't dictate how anything runs in somebody else's home. If you want to be the man of a house, go get a house. It's her love for her child and her grandchildren is the reason why she has allowed them to stay. She goes on to say in the video, the, the grandmother, she goes on to say like, I've helped y'all out many times. I need you to get a job. Like she's tired of taking care of your family. And I feel like she's thinking, if I'm gonna take care of my child and my grandchildren, they might as well just live with me. But what she's not gonna do is sit up and pay for some grown, able-bodied man. She don't wanna take care of you, sir. She don't mind doing it for her child and her grandchildren, but not you. She's telling you, go get a job. And rather than being grateful that somebody would take in your wife and your children, so they wouldn't be on the street, you rather campaign for yourself. You're mad because why can't I stay too? Did y'all hear him in the beginning saying, you know, I don't want to get loud in your house. That's why you're not staying right now. Just the idea that you think you could get loud in her house is why she don't want you there. You can't do whatever you want to do in somebody else's house. And she could already tell that's what you're going to do. Now, I know the situation isn't ideal. He may have to sleep in his car. He may have to go to a men's shelter or something. He have to do something to survive. But my thing is making it easy for him and people always bailing him out is why he doesn't know how to stand on his own two feet. That's why he's struggling. That's why he's counting on somebody else to take care of his family. I remember when my, um, when my daddy walked me down the aisle and he placed my hand in my husband's hand, he looked at my husband and said, son, she's your responsibility now. Sir, no, it's nobody else's responsibility to take care of your family but you. That woman is doing you a favor, doing you a courtesy by offering to take care of your wife and your children. That was your job. And because you didn't do your job well, you're trying to guilt trip somebody? She don't owe you any. If you're still here, definitely you're enjoying this video. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe. And also comment your thoughts about this video down in comment section. All comments are accepted. All opinions are accepted if you put it down respectfully. So for me, yeah, I feel like this man is, is very shame, shameless. He's very shameless and he's very entitled. And... He's giving me proud, broke man. Like you are broke. You are in a situation that you don't, you cannot put a roof over your family head. Like, do you know what that means? And you went to your mother in law, not your own mother, your wife's mother. And she accepted her daughter and the kids to stay in her. Do you know what that means? Do you know how much? food and everything at the oh god then you she said you are not allowed probably i feel like maybe, probably something might have happened back in the years or well, she already know the kind of man he is because we and she's not saying why she doesn't want him but i understand if you've seen somebody's character it's not everybody you can live with and to avoid disrespect to avoid trouble to avoid problem you stay far away from them. And I love the fact that she actually like, 
no you can't stay instead of accepting him and and us and start treating him badly you know that's another thing she maybe she doesn't want him to stay but she was like okay you can stay then she starts treating or acting weird or start giving attitude in the house so i like the fact that she said you can't stay so is it that you take your family away or you leave these ones and you go out there see as a responsible man and you find somewhere you can put your family that you know that your family are safe you yourself go and look for some if you're going to be sleeping under the bridge go and look for somewhere to sleep and stay hustle go and look for money so that you can take your family out of there and get an apartment for them to stay not you being entitled and be like why why can no 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 why it is unfair it is unfair you don't uh, it, you know no no they don't do that ah no 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 they don't do that you should you should even cover your face as a man you should cover your face your whole family you it's not just your wife you have kids Eh? you brought them to your mother-in-law's place your mother-in-law she's not entitled to take care of your family she's not entitled to, to have an apartment she didn't get that apartment for you to come and stay there she got the apartment for herself to live so you should not feel entitled over someone else's property you should be begging i was expecting you to say okay i'm sorry please we don't have anywhere to stay please even if it's just for a few days i will get back on my feet you should be begging not feeling entitled that's 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 just my opinion let me know your thoughts down in the comment section and i do not blame the mother-in-law she has her own reasons and she decided not to speak it out no problem i don't blame somebody for if you if you if you have something and i'm asking you for something and you refuse to give me that mean no i'm not going to give you i'm not going to hate you for that i'm not going to be like oh you are it was very wrong of you not to give me no you have a reason for not giving me and it's your thing i'm not entitled to somebody else's thing if it was my own thing that was with you if it was my apartment now and i'm like i want to stay in my apartment and you're like no you can't come now and that's where there's a problem but it's your own thing you're the one paying you're the one you're, you own everything there so you did that you, you decide to give me when you want to so i'm not going to blame the mother-in-law for anything but i'm going to tell the man like can you just be respectful and cover your face <laughs> can you just okay <laughs> it's so shame this guy is so shameless <laughs> let me know your thoughts about this down in the comment section i hope you enjoyed this one don't forget to like and share and subscribe and all of that good stuff and of course i'll see you all in my next video bye